when we're talking about surgery here for this, is this something that would also be um, doable uh, robotically or laparoscopically? Honestly. You know, even before we do that, explain just so that everybody is clear on the difference because people tend to use it a little bit interchangeably, laparoscopic and, and robotic surgery. Absolutely. I mean, honestly, endometrial cancer, uterine cancer is really where robotic surgery has taken off. So standard laparoscopy means accessing the pelvic compartment or that peritoneal cavity we talked about with small incisions. That's what laparoscopy is. The difference with robotic surgery or da Vinci procedures, again, it's using laparoscopic incisions, small incisions, but the robotic platform has a different type of camera. The so cameras, through these small incisions, you're putting in camera and some instruments correct. that allows you to operate as if, you're, as if your hands were in there. As if you're inside, right. exactly. Okay. And so the camera of a robotic or da Vinci procedure is different than a standard laparoscopic procedure. A robotic-assisted laparoscopic procedure uses a special camera, which is high definition and has three-dimensional optics. So the surgeon, you feel like you're in the pelvis. <laughs> The instruments themselves, the tips of them, are different. So for standard laparoscopy, they tend to articulate one way or another, compared to the robotic instrumentation provides more range of motion, more like a natural hand, and the tips are very fine. As the primary surgeon, I enjoy both of those advantages, but the other advantages that, re that, that really carries it even further is I maintain more control of the case as the primary surgeon. There's a sense, this name robotic, that it's something else doing the procedure, but actually the primary surgeon has more control. With the robotic instruments, I control, I control where the camera is at all times, I control what my two hands are doing, and I control an accessory instrument, which is like a retractor. So I'm controlling four instruments, toggling them with foot pedals. There's really not as much for an assistant to be doing during that case. So what surgeon doesn't want to have the best eyes, instruments, and maintain the majority of control for the case? That those are some of the advantages for robotic surgery. Certainly standard laparoscopy is you know, also accomplishing a minimally invasive approach, and some surgeons prefer that. Um, but basically, since laparoscopy has been around 20 years, sort of robotics represents some of the newer generation in terms of optics and instrumentation. One way I like to explain it to, to women and, and potential patients is how I've explained it to my kids. What's the difference between laparoscopy and robotic laparoscopy? And I tell them it's the difference between backing your car into a parking space while you're looking in your rearview mirror and pulling into the parking space if you go to you know, the grocery store where you actually can drive in forward. It's that different feeling for the, as a surgeon. I have control. I can see exactly where I'm going when I'm pulling in forward. But you know, when you're backing into a parking space, you're looking in the rearview mirror, you can't exactly. It, that's really the difference as a surgeon as to how it feels and the kind of control that you have. Yeah, I mean, I've seen that and, and, and sat at that console, and you really are inside the body when you're, when you're working that way. It's amazing.